All right, class, so this is an Alex topic. It's called finding density from a FCC or BCC lattice constant. So FCC means face centered cubic and BCC means body centered cubic. Um, so those are gonna be, you know, pictures that we're gonna have to have in our minds, be able to, you know, draw a little diagram to, to describe what that, that looks like. Um, and that'll help us solve this problem. So um, in this problem, we're looking for a density. So my final answer is gonna be grams per centimeter cubed. And I'm given that we have potassium. And then it says potassium beta is a solid phase of potassium, still unknown to science, yada, yada, yada. And this whole beta thing, that's just sort of describing it's a different form of potassium. You don't really need to worry too much about that. And then the only other important information here is that we've got a, a face-centered cubic unit cell and then our lattice constant, this alpha value, um, this is the edge length essentially. So when I see this, what I'm, what I'm gonna be thinking about immediately, I'm gonna draw a little cube here. So this alpha, that's gonna be, so we'll just write it like that. That's gonna be this distance here. So the distance of one edge is the alpha value. So it's 0.653 nanometers. And then face centered cubic. So at each one of these, um, I guess, edges or vertices, I'm gonna have uh, an atom, a potassium atom. And then face centered cubic means that in each face, there will also be an atom. So each one of these faces um, will also have an atom sort of stuck into it. And the whole point of this is then to say, okay, how many equivalents of atoms are there in this you know, cubic structure here? So at each corner, if I imagine each corner, how much of this atom that's at that corner is inside of that box? And it's one eighth. So each corner is one eighth of an atom inside of the box. So if I imagine, you know, other boxes, other cubic unit cells, then this rest of that atom would be in those other boxes. So only one eighth of that atom is in that corner. That's hard for you to visualize. There's definitely better pictures out there um, to show you that, but for now, hopefully you'll trust me. So then at each one of these corners, there's eight corners, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? There's one back here that we're not showing. Um, so that in total from the corners, I've got one full equivalent of an atom. And then at each of these face centers, so each of these face centers, there's gonna be one half of an atom, again, inside of the box. So therefore in total, there are four atom equivalents. So it's not four, you know, individual atoms. In total, if I add up all the different pieces of atoms that I have, you know, one eighth here, one eighth here, and then each one of these is a half. So each face, there's six faces. I've got a half of, of, of an atom. So in total, I've got three equivalents from the face you know, atoms and then one equivalent from the, the corner atoms. So in total, there are four atom equivalents in this face-centered cubic unit cell. And that will always be the case. In a face-centered unit cell, there will always be four total atom equivalents. In a body-centered, um, so the other option here would be BCC, body-centered, that's gonna be different, okay? Um, so you need to be able to have a picture of what that body-centered cubic structure is and then be able to determine, using the sort of same strategy, how many atom equivalents are there inside of the box? So that's the first piece of information that we need to know. Um, now for this lattice constant, well, we're gonna use that to figure out our densities, right? We're gonna, our, our volume. So if this alpha value is 0.653, well, I see that my density is given in centimeters cubed. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna convert nanometers to centimeters. And 0 0.653 nanometers is equal to 6.53 times 10 to the minus eighth centimeters. Now there's really two good ways to do this. The first one is just to type it in a Google. When I was doing this problem, that's literally what I did. I typed 0.653 nanometers, two centimeters, and Google told me that this is the right answer. That's good enough for me. Um, if you wanna show your calculations and sort of do a conversion, you could also ask Google, one centimeter equals how many nanometers? And that's 10 million nanometers. So one centimeter is one times 10 to the seventh. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that should be right. One centimeter equals 10,000 nanometers. And you can do that and, and do your conversions and that would be good as well. So either way, this is our number of centimeters. And if I take my 
So if I want to find my volume, that's going to be 6.53 times 10 to the minus 8th centimeters cubed. And that equals 2.78 times 10 to the minus 22nd centimeters cubed. So this is the first piece of information. And I know that this is the volume. So obviously when I'm doing a problem like this, I know that I need to find the mass over the volume. That's going to be my density. Density is a mass over a volume. And also because the units that are given here, grams over centimeters cubed, that tells me right away I want to be, be using centimeters cubed um, or centimeters to figure out that volume. So that's the first piece of information I'm going to need. Now what I'm going to do is I need to figure out, well, how much mass is in this volume. I'm looking for grams per centimeter cubed. So in order to figure out the mass, I know that there's four atoms, right? There's four atoms um, in, my, in my sample. So I might start with four molecules, or I guess I should really say atoms. Four atoms. Oh, you can't see that. Four atoms times one mole, so I want to convert to moles, over Avogadro's number, 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. So that's the definition of Avogadro's number, you know, to convert from atoms into moles. And then I'm going to multiply that by the molecular mass of potassium, 39.098 grams over one mole. So this is the molar mass of potassium. So we're, we're, potassium, that's what um, is in this you know, sam sample. So I've got four atoms in my box. So in this unit cell, four atoms, I can convert that to moles using Avogadro's number. And then I convert from moles into grams, and that equals 2.60 times 10 to the minus 22nd grams. So this is the mass of four potassium atoms in the unit cell. And this is my volume of unit cell, right? So we need to be able to sort of do this annotation to figure out what these values actually mean. So if I know the mass and I know the volume, then I can go ahead and solve for my um, density. So if I figure that out, calculate my density, um, that value is, so we have to calculate it still, it is 2.6 E minus 22 divided by 2.78 E minus 22 is density equals 0 0.935 grams over centimeters cubed. So I'm just taking my grams and I'm dividing that by my volume and that should be it. All right.